Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking strapping your ski on properly. Let's go. Here we have a Sea Dew GTX kindly loaned to us by Robert Owen Marine. A link to their website is in the description below. It is also sitting on an SBS trailer. This trailer has wide tyres, especially for beach launching as it doesn't sink so easy in the sand Winner. so you've retrieved your ski out of the water and all that's holding it is the winch strap let's show you how to strap it on but first let's show you how not to strap it on so how not to uh, strap your ski on this is one way you should not strap your ski on as you can tell I haven't done this tight because I don't want to cause any damage to the ski itself but the reason we don't do this, one, the seats are flexible, so it can bounce and the strap come loose itself. Two, when it is tight, you can cause stress cracks on the hull itself because it's not designed to be strapped down in that sort of way. So tip number one, do not strap your ski over the top of it. Tip number two, do not use the handlebar grab bar on the back of the seat to strap your ski down one this is usually made of plastic and can snap off quite easily two when it's tight again you're creating an area of stress cracking to the hull and uh, all sorts of things like that so do not do that way let's show you how it should be done so this is how you should strap your ski on from the back First you go through the eye of the trailer, then you come through to the eye on the back of the ski. This point is designed for this, it's reinforced, just don't do anything else, it's there. So feed it through, pull the excess through, and then you come to the ratchet itself. You may have hooks on your ratchet, so hook it there. And hook it there this hasn't got a hook so what it does is it feeds back into the ratchet itself pull it through and then you get it to a position if you put it there it will it will well, even when tight it will slightly bounce and cause a bit of damage to the ski we don't want that so pull through the strap slightly so it's roughly in the middle there and it can't cause any damage to the ski when in transit. Then simply tighten the ski on. And with that system you do exactly the same on the other side and the ski is going absolutely nowhere. For me two straps is always the best way because if one fails you've always got the other one. But if you do only have one strap at the time, again, you feed it through the trailer, feed it through the eyelets on the back of the ski, pulling the access through, move the step out of the way of this one, and through the eyelet this side, just like so. And then you go through this side, the eyelet on the trailer this side and then what you do is you go back through the eyes to the ratchet itself and secure the ski on that way so we've completed the straps on the back and we've also obviously got the winch strap itself but we always put one more strap on for a bit of extra security through the eyelet of the ski itself down underneath the trailer and then make sure it's nice and tight and that is the ski strapping on complete so thank you very much for watching i hope you've learned something there and we will see you in the next video please like and subscribe press that bell comment below for anything you want to see in the future and yeah have, have fun out on the water bye for now